This is a training video for compass corrections. If you remember the phrase, can dead men vote twice, then you're good to go. This is the uh, cutter log that we're using. So a couple of pieces of data you need to collect uh, to make all this work. The first one is variation. It's the difference between magnetic north and true north right off a chart. Sorry for the image, I tried to make it clear here, but uh, look on a compass rose, it tells you exactly what the variation is with an annual increase or decrease, and you can round it to the nearest whole degree. So for uh, the Gulf of Maine, we have 16 degrees west in our case. The next piece of information you need is deviation. Deviation is the difference um, in magnetic north and what your compass reads due to ship construction. The gyro compass error is calculated by the navigator a few different ways um, outside the purview of this exercise. The magnetic heading is read right off the, uh, the magnetic compass and the gyro compass heading is read directly off the gyro compass as well. So the first one is the gyro compass. Again, you just read it right off. We're going to use 015 in this case. And that supposedly points to true north. But the magnetic compass in this case is 031. Uh, as a sidebar, check out what happens if you put a, a pair of metal pliers next to a magnetic compass. About a 10 degree change. So that gives you an idea of how sensitive those magnetic compasses are for cell phones or wiring. So we said our gyro heading was 015 true and our magnetic heading was 031 magnetic. Previously, we have uh, calculated gyro error to be one degree east in this case. Again, that's another exercise. On the ship's deviation table, which is calculated annually, we read uh, for our heading a deviation of one degree east. So the first calculation is to calculate the true course, which is your gyro heading plus your easterly error um, is your true course. Now, if it was westerly, you would need to subtract. But So right on the log, under the gyro course, 015, the gyro error is 1 east. And for this part of the calculation, we add easterly errors, so the true course is 016. Now, although the log has uh, just a bunch of different cells to fill in, these three comprise one kind of separate calculation, um, so it's best to keep them separate if you can. So our true course is 016. Now we're going to check that. Um, and always remember the phrase GET get to calculate true courses. But uh, the next thing to do is we're going to check that, and that involves a second calculation using the rest of the data that we used. This is where the Can Dead Men Vote Twice at Elections acronym comes in. Um, if you remember that, then you should be able to solve these problems, no problem. And it stands for compass, deviation, magnetic, variation, and true. And then the add elections means add east. So when you're doing corrections this way, you add easterly errors. There's another acronym we'll talk about later for if you're going the opposite way. So our magnetic compass was 031 degrees magnetic, and we're going to correct it. So we're going to add our deviation, which is 1 east, and we obtain 032. We're adding east. So that's the correct magnetic heading. Put the variation in, which is 16 west, and we we'll subtract that because it's westerly. And our true compass heading should be 016. And that is what we corrected for earlier. So we can bring down the log and um, write all this data in. And in this case, we're kind of working from right to left on the log. But our steering compass, our magnetic was 031. Our deviation was 1 east, which we added to obtain a magnetic compass of 032. And then we subtracted our westerly variation and obtained 016, which is exactly what we should have had. Now in this case, our variation 16 west happened to match our true course of 016. doesn't always happen to be the case, nor is it usually. Um, you can also uncorrect a compass uh, using the phrase true virgins make dull companions at weddings where you add west. But in this case, we're using uh, the first calculation to obtain our true course. The second calculation, can dead men vote twice at elections to check that. And uh, they both match in this case, which is great, so make sure you eat your navigation flakes.